And during my time here, I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. It's a flower shop run by multiple generations. A bar owner who greets every customer by name. It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. History, loyalty, pride. These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. It's been my privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community and we're tremendously excited for its future. Thank you, Diane. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. Alex! Oh my god! I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Alex, you're hurt. Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. And so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? You know exactly what's going on. I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. All they care about is making more money. They'll do whatever it takes to push this expansion through. So they decided to bury the evidence and nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. Why aren't any of you saying anything? We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. I wasn't asking you. The things you've said obligate me to at least address them. These accusations are, well, they're insane. And trying to go into the mine was obviously a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. But we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and... 
make your life seem less unfair. You know there's proof of the cover-up. You had Pike arrest me to suppress the evidence. Officer Pike arrested you for stealing items from my purse. Perhaps you were looking for evidence? And I found it. Which is why you and Jed tried to threaten me into silence. Dad? Do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? No. I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought... I don't know. I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. All I can guess is... Sometimes, when we're hurting... The people we lash out at... Are the ones who are trying to help. This is an act! You're lying! Please. I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too, but I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. I believe you too. I'm horrified and shocked, and still processing everything, but I believe you. Miss Harmon, please remember the terms of your settlement. Screw your settlement. I would never take that money. Charlotte, please. I would like to speak. I've known Jed a very, very long time. And, uh, Miss Jen? Alex? I'm realizing I don't quite know you as well as I thought. Some allowances must, of course, be made given your injuries and resultant confusion. But nonetheless, it saddens me to hear you make these terrible and incredible accusations against my friend. Ducky, that's enough. Don't let him make you feel bad, sweetheart. No one here thinks you're a bad person. You know... Our mind can play tricks on us. None of it is your fault. It's so hard to admit you need help. But it's always better in the end. We're all worried about you. Let us help you. Don't worry, Alex. I got this. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have a USB stick full of recordings. Yes, we went through this yesterday. Your superiors closed the case. None of us have time for conspiracies. Yeah. You're trying to weasel your way out of things again, huh? I know your game. I know Don't how you... test me, Jason. <laughs> you know what? I'm not scared of you anymore. And out of you, not Typhon. All right, that's enough. Deputy Pike, do you have some kind of personal issue with me? Like hell I do. Jason. Well, given that your judgment in this matter is emotionally compromised, you should probably remove yourself oh, from- Oh, cut the crap. If you think you could shut me up- Jason, I think you better cool it. No, I would like to speak again. It concerns me that a voting member of this council- You believe me, admitted to a right? This is a load of bullshit. I don't believe Brian? it. Ridiculous. We're all getting ahead of ourselves. Why are you doing this? 
I'm not your lapdog what? anymore. Deputy Pike, I am not responsible for anything. My dad is not a murderer. <gasps> Were you afraid we couldn't get Typhon? Is that why you need someone else to blame? I thought we were in this together for Gabe. Ryan. No. I'm not gonna let you do that to me anymore. Ryan, what the hell? I know he's your dad, but look at her. Why would she lie about this? It's going too far. Alex almost died. It's not true. Fuck you, Ryan! After everything? Seriously, fuck you! Stop. I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. The world never gave a shit about him. He was always struggling just to get by. He still hoped one day things would be better. But you killed him. And then Gabe, my big brother. He was building a family here, doing it his own way, figuring it out as he went along. He was so nervous about it and so excited. And he brought me here to be part of that family. But he died. Because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive. To get through. Haven changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to help people. Because... It's something I'm good at. Knowing I'm good at something... Feels fucking great. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life... Just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. forgotten it, haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. You tell yourself you're a hero, a strong leader. Sometimes that means making hard choices. Decisions that could lead to people dying. Few men could handle that. Haven's lucky to have you. But 
That's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And you couldn't even say those words out loud because you're a coward. You couldn't imagine saying it to your wife, saying it in front of your son. Every day you were brave enough to go underground and look death in the eye, but you couldn't muster the courage to admit a mistake. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. I see the truth about you. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. And I forgive you. And the news is still coming in on the Typhon mining scandal that has rocked the western slope town of Haven Springs, where a council meeting was the scene for shocking revelations. Local bar owner and council president Jed Lucan admitted in a tearful confession to covering up the deaths of seven Typhon employees as their manager 12 years ago. A recent cover-up, which involved the clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lucan is currently in police custody, awaiting arraignment. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Typhon CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right Yeah, the silence is worse. I need to get some air. Do I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait? I kind of think I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait. I've got some continued support for you. The phrase recent events is doing some work in this post. It never ends.
Ducky lost for words. Amazing. After summoning all my strength and willpower, I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. Hey, Steph. Alex, wait. Before you say anything, I have to get this out. Okay. What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. And it made me want to be brave too. So, here it goes. I want to be with you. I don't give a shit about playing music or seeing the world. I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. And if you'd rather stay here instead, then... <sighs> Fuck it. <laughs> I want to stay here too. I've never had anyone barge in to tell me that they wanted to be with me before. Yeah? How'd it feel? You've, uh, given me a lot to think about. Well, good. That was the idea. You know where to find me. Good luck, Chen. Thanks, Steph. All right, just tell me. What? My future. What to do? The night of the Spring Fest, Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road, the excitement of the unknown. Of course. That was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on, you're the know-it-all. So tell me. Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. <laughs> of course, you're right. I've never had a home before. Friends, a job, a place to live. Why would I give that up now? <sighs> then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> 
stop it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. I'm sorry. I know. But here's something. It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph. Life goes on. You get a job working with Steph at the record store. All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. And little by little, time does its thing. The apartment starts to feel less like a museum and more like a home. Thoughts of Jed, of Typhon, even of me begin to fade into the background. The rooftop is your stage. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world. Or maybe you never think about that much at all. You don't know exactly when it happens, but one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. You don't question it, you don't doubt it, or wonder what might have been. It's your life, the life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. Thank you. Don't mention it. 
You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. You already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Do what exactly? Become an actual musician? Live in a van? Travel between dingy bars? Hawking your SoundCloud? <laughs> pouring your soul to strangers? Sounds pretty great if you ask me. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. So, what do you think? I know what I want. 